All right, YouTube, we're back with some more Vixen train issues, train horn issues, and excuse me, I got the hiccups. <clears throat> so, what's been going on lately is my horn is getting clogged with rust particles and crap from this tank. Now, I must say that I feel this tank should have been treated somehow on the inside um, or maybe use some better steel that doesn't rust so bad or something because I drain the water out of it you know on a pretty regular basis and you can see it's like staining the wood that I have it um, affixed to but the other problem is the way I have mine set up Okay, you got your three bosses here. I had the horn air supply in this bottom one. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it for the pump down here and put the horn up here because when I'm driving, the water inside is sloshing and it's picking up particles of rust. And then it, since this is in the tank like this on that bottom boss fitting the little particles of rust will just get up in there the water will wash it in there and it'll sit until the next time I go to blow my horn and then it goes through the line and it ends up here which you know I'm glad that they put a screen in there so it ca catches everything it doesn't get into the actual valve but heck, you can look. Look in here. Look at my horns. So yeah, that's like that's not mud. That's rust water. That's coming out of that tank. So really, like the crappiest part of this whole setup is the tank. The pump pump's been running great. No issues out of the pump. Um, these regulate these blow off valves. Um, not too thrilled with that one. This one's like leaking it doesn't want to hold um, 200 pounds it wants to leak down to about oh 180 and sit there so I'm not sure what the, what the deal is with this thing but other than that I mean no issues at all except for the initial leaks when I first got it because the powder coating or the paint or whatever the hell this is was all up in the threads and the inside of the tank rusts like a son of a gun and it's sloshing and getting into the fitting so I figure if I put this if I put the pump down in there it's not going to matter if stuff sloshes down into the tip of this because when the pump comes on it's going to blow it this way it's not going to go that way this is a check valve so that's what I'm going to do to fix it. We'll see if this takes care of the problem. <clears throat> but it's another issue that I've run into. And um, also, you know, I bought this hose from Harbor Freight, this leader hose, um, when I set up my train horn. And this is not UV resistant. It's already cracking all over the place. So eventually I'm going to have to redo this with something else. Um, maybe I'll get another one of these stainless steel braided ones and run from here to here. But, um, that's, um, I didn't expect it to be. I mean, it's not like it said UV resistant on the packaging under normal circumstances. This wouldn't need to be UV resistant anyway. But, there it is. And, uh, we'll see how long it goes before I have another problem. 